Are you headed to the BVI soon and planning to visit the iconic baths? There are some recent changes you should know about to make your visit go smoother. The baths on Virgin Gorda is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the British Virgin Islands. This area features a unique landscape of giant granite boulders that form natural pools and grottos filled with crystal clear water. Visitors can explore the stunning rock formations and enjoy a swim at multiple beaches. However, as of 2023, new rules have been implemented or enforced for visitors at the baths. In this video, we'll discuss the changes you need to know before planning your trip to this iconic destination. I visited the baths three different times since 2019 and experienced it three different ways. In 2019, we arrived by a charter boat and picked up a mooring ball just off of Devil's Bay and swam in. During that trip, we entered the baths near Devil's Bay and worked our way through the cave trail and exited just after the cathedral. We arrived early on this trip and while a cruise ship excursion did show up, we were finishing up as they were arriving. We did hike up the one way to the top of the baths and back down the other trail, arriving back in Devil's Bay. In the fall of 2022, we once again arrived by charter boat and picked up a mooring ball closer to Spring Bay, just off the beach where Poor Man's Bar is located. We took our dinghy to the dinghy line, tied up, and swam the rest of the way in. This time, there were much fewer visitors and no cruise ship excursions. We were actually able to enter near the cathedral and work our way backwards through the cave trail and exit at Devil's Bay. We then hiked up to the top of the bass, enjoyed lunch, and returned the opposite trail down, arriving back at the beach near our dinghy. In March of this year, we were able to once again pick up a mooring ball at Devil's Bay. However, due to an outboard engine issue on our dinghy, we weren't able to tie up and swim in. Not wanting to miss out on the baths, we motored over to Virgin Gorda Yacht Harbor and paid for temporary hourly docking and caught a land taxi over to the baths. Now this is the method most people use when there's a red flag at the baths and they don't want you mooring and swimming in. On this trip, there was a large cruise ship excursion and because we had to change our plan of arrival, we did not beat them in. On our most recent visit, we were surprised to learn some of the changes regarding entry to the baths, or at least new to us. Traffic flow direction and the fee structure. So when you charter a boat in the BVI, you get a permit issued by the National Parks Trust of the Virgin Islands. This permit allows you to access the national parks mooring during your stay. However, and this is clearly stated on the back of the permit, it does not include entry fees to the Greater Baths National Park. I have a feeling this disclaimer has always been there, but most people don't see it. In the past, the assessment of the entry fee was very loosely enforced. Now upon arrival, even if you swim in, visitors are asked to take the trail to the top of the baths, pay the entry fee of $3 for adults and $2 for children, and return one way to the baths trail entrance near Devil's Bay. In the past, the traffic flow of people was one way when cruise ships were in port, which totally makes sense as the trails are pretty tight in places and two-way traffic would be very difficult. However, now they are focusing on one-way traffic at all times, which is why there's only one way in from the top of the baths where the entry fee is paid. It does seem as though these changes were made in an effort to make sure everyone's entry fee is collected, even if you arrive by boat and swim in. I personally don't think these changes are a big deal. Again, I've been to the baths three times with three different crews, and every time we've been to the top of the baths, regardless of how we arrived. And I highly recommend it. The views are amazing. As for the fee, I'm not at all opposed to paying that. The baths is a stunning attraction that I love to visit and always recommend to others. The entry fees help fund the maintenance of the area by the National Parks Trust so that others can continue to enjoy the baths in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you to navigate the new changes and enforcements at the baths. If so, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and come aboard for all upcoming BVI planning and travel tips. I'll see you in the next one.